Hi everyone, this is Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. And I am getting calls and emails and texts daily right now, more than daily, um, every couple of hours, from clients who received their tax notices from, uh, mostly from Travis County, but from other counties as well. And everybody is stunned. I'm stunned as well when we received ours. So uh, Travis County increased on average the appraised values by 56%. That's pretty incredible, right? 56%. I encourage everyone to protest your taxes. There are several reasons why you want to do that. And um, it's important that you take action soon because the deadline is May 16th. So a couple of things I want to review, and I'm putting this in the blog post, so there's going to be more information as well. The first reason why I would highly encourage you to protest your taxes is let your voice be heard. I don't know about you, but seeing the amount that the base of what my home is now valued at increase so substantially in one fell swoop is just stunning. It really truly is. So let your voice be heard. Protest your taxes. Whether you're going to protest them yourself or you're going to hire a company. Um, in my blog, there are a couple of companies that our clients use with success. And please let your voice be heard. Even if you do the first pass for the protest um, and you decide not to you know, do the full dive in of it, at least let your voice be heard and protest your taxes. And there is a possibility, since the tax base has increased so substantially, for at least for Travis County, that they'll actually decrease the tax rate. So please, protest your taxes. I would strongly encourage you to do that. The second reason to protest your taxes is that when you look at your tax um, notice, you're going to see that there is a net appraised value and there is an appraised value. We are not being taxed on the net appraised value, you're being taxed on the appraised value. If you have a homestead exemption, the cap is 10%. So your property taxes cannot increase if you have a homestead exemption more than 10% year over year. So first of all, do the math. Make sure that the county has actually calculated correctly what your taxes are. And then one of the reasons why you want to protest your taxes is that net appraised value, even though you're not being taxed on that, that's setting the base. And then year over year, that's the 10% based upon that that we're being taxed on. So if you protest it each year, hopefully that's a little bit smaller each year. So you're not, you don't have this bigger amount that they're taking that 10% from. You have a smaller base that they're taking that from. I hope that makes sense. So please, that, that's the second reason. Now, I have a whole list of things that I want to share with you, so I'll just look at my notes here. And then um, another thing is uh, by filing a protest, chances are you will get a small reduction, even if it's minor. So please, protest. With the number of people who are going to protest this year, the county is going to be overwhelmed, and they're just going to want to move through it as quickly as they can. So I encourage you to protest in that you most likely will get a reduction without even putting any evidence together. So there are a couple of things to know. If you own your home and you live in your home, it's not an investment property, and you have not submitted the homestead exemption, it doesn't matter which county you're in, please submit your homestead exemption. You can simply go online to the county appraisal office on my blog, there's a list. Um, I have it for all the major counties around the Austin area. Go in there, simply do it. If you haven't done it for whatever reason, please file your homestead exemption because that puts a max in the state of Texas at 10% of what you can be, your property taxes can be increased. So you want to make sure. Unfortunately, for investment properties, there is no cap. So um, there, there is that. And that's a huge thing. I have so many clients who are landlords, have a lot of investment properties, and this increase is significant. It, there's, I'm not sure exactly what it means, but I think a lot of my landlords are probably not going to uh, continue being landlords because it's not going to be uh, feasible at the rate that they're being taxed and what they can bring in for rent. Um, another thing is uh, just to know if you look at the tax record, if you recently purchased a home, you look at the tax record, and it doesn't show your name, 
you are still responsible. If you're the owner of the property, you are responsible for paying taxes on that property. Travis County also announced in a separate announcement recently that they will not be updating tax records when there is an ownership transfer until the end of the year. So it's very possible that the previous owner is gonna receive the tax statement instead of the new owner, but guess who's responsible for it? The new owner. So even if you look at the record and it doesn't show your name, but you now own the property, you are responsible. So be sure to look. If you haven't received that tax notice, that does not mean that you're not responsible for it. You are responsible for it. So please make sure. I have quite a few tips that I'm going to give to you. Again, these are in the blog. And um, the basic thing about protesting taxes, and I've done it myself quite a few times. At this point, I'm hiring somebody to do it for me. But um, the big thing to know is that there's an informal process that's step one. There's a two-step process when you're protesting your taxes. First, you have to file your protest. In Travis County, the deadline for this year is May 16th. So you file that, whether it's online, in person, um, or by mail, it has to be done by May 16th. So the first step is an informal hearing. If you are not satisfied with what happens in the informal hearing, then you go to the next step, which is the formal hearing. I believe it's a five-person tax protest board that you'll meet with. And in both of those, for the informal hearing and formal hearing, I highly encourage you to have evidence prepared to support your claim that you should be taxed at a lower, um, lower amount. So the things that I highly encourage, first, is make sure the information is correct on the tax record. What if the county shows that you actually have a much bigger house square footage wise than you have, or something, something's off on their record? Please make sure that that's correct. The second, make sure that there's no calculation error on their side. Again, I mentioned if you have a homestead exemption, the max that your taxes go up is 10%. Make sure they aren't taxing you more than that. You want to gather sales data on comparable homes. I can help you with that. Happy to help. The thing about taxes, property taxes, is that they're collected in arrears. That means we're, being, we're paying this year for property taxes for last year. So when you're looking at comparable sales, you look all the way back to January of the last year. However, the county will also let you use recent sales up until March of the current year. So that's quite a few months, that's 15 months worth of data that you can look at, and you want to find comparable sales. When we're looking at what a lender appraisal um, consists of, and it generally is the same for the county, it's plus or minus 20% of the square footage, plus or minus five years built. You want it to be the same kind of construction. So if your house has, is a stone house, you want to look at other stone built homes versus a home that's completely hardy plank. If you have a single family home, you want to be looking at single family homes instead of comparing your home to a condo. If you have a single story home, you want to compare single story homes to single story homes instead of two story homes. So make sure that you're looking at comparable sales. You also, if you look in the Travis County record, there is actually a, um, I believe it's called a market area, a neighborhood um, uh, identifier, it's a number in there. If you use that, you can actually go into the county tax records, use that same under the advanced search, and look specifically at homes that are in that same uh, market area neighborhood code. The reason why that's helpful is that that's another tip. Go in and look at what the assessed values are of your neighbors. If you can find comparable home within that same bucket, that is being assessed at less than your house, use that. that. That is evidence that your house is being assessed too high. Yes, I was right, it's called market area. And then another tip, and I have nine tips um, that I'm sharing. Um, another one is the market is so hot that again, to look instead of the sales data, to look at what the assessed, it's just what I had just said, but to look at the assessed values, that is really important. You, when you're looking at the, um, if you recently purchased your house and you look at the amount that the county is assessing you at and what you purchased it for is less, use your 
closing statement. Go to the county and say, this is what it's worth. This is what I purchased it for. You're assessing it for more than what the open market would pay for it. Secondly, with that, use the appraisal you have from the lender if it supports the lower amount, correct? So if you have that appraisal and it was less than, even less than what you pay for it, use that instead of your closing statement, use that appraisal to support a lower assessed value. Another tip, many of you have refinanced your homes recently. Many, many of you. Use that appraisal. That is fantastic evidence to support, if, if it supports it, a lower assessed value. Use that. That alone could be very helpful. If there are any repairs that need to be made to your home, roof, foundation, windows, you want to document it, you want to take photos, you want to use that as evidence that your home is depreciated more quickly than your neighbor's homes. If your neighbor has recently put on a beautiful porch and it's all painted and here you have nothing, right? Like if they have a screened in porch maybe on their um, on the backside, whatever it is, whatever you can use. If your house backs to a commercial area, if your home backs to a busy road, document all that. Use Google Maps. Use, get your evidence. I think that that's most of my tips right there. So um, the last few things is for an evidence packet. The best things that you can have in your evidence packet for both your informal and formal hearings. The sold data on properties that are similar to yours. I already described what that would be. The properties that are similar to yours that the county has assessed for less than yours. And then the needed repairs, things showing that your house, the depreciation on your house. Know your numbers, be accurate. If you are gonna protest in person, don't go in there complaining that you can't pay for it. The county wants numbers, they want facts, they want evidence, and if you can show that to them, you can even be prepared with an actual number, value, that you believe your house should be valued at that's reasonable. I wouldn't lowball it. I would go in based upon the evidence and say, here, look, this is what I think that it, it should be. If you are not wanting to do that, there are companies that you can hire. Most of them will only take a percentage if they are able to reduce your taxes. But again, please protest your taxes. The amount that we have seen for the increase for this year is just shocking. Please use your voice. Let the county know that it's not acceptable. And even by that small protest, whether you, you do it or you have a company do it, It'll let our voice be heard. Most likely you're going to get at least a small reduction and hopefully we can get the amount of the actual tax rate to go down so our overall taxes will not be as high. If you have questions, please let me know. Most of you have received a real estate review from me which had sales from the last 90 days. You can use that. If you need more evidence to help support a lower price, let me, I shouldn't say price, support a lower assessed value, please let me know. I am here to help you. Christy Bryant with the Best of Austin Living Team. My number is 512-994-9206. Our website, bestofaustinliving.com. I hope you all are doing well. And let's see if we can get those tax assessed values down.